Hey, what's going on, guys? Code Mike Games here. Finally, we reached this milestone point within the entire chess engine development process known as the perf test. And one little spoiler I did pass this perf test. So, the program that we've been uh, developing uh, along this series actually passes the perf test perfectly well, which means that it's 99% bug free that it has 99% bug free move generator. And why I say 99% that's because, uh, you know, like if you're a chess engine developer, you can't be 100% sure that your uh, chess engine is 100% <laughs> bug free. It, you just try it yourself and you, under, you, you will understand why, uh, why chess engine developers are talking like this. And before we proceed, uh, I just wanna share uh, a couple of GIFs uh, within my browser to show you how it feels to actually uh, when it when you first time uh, pass uh, your mm, perf test and how it feels when you do this uh, for non first time like for whatever time but not the first time so this is how it feels when you pass your perf times the very first time ever so this is it basically this is how I felt when three years before uh, I've been trying to make a bug free move generator. I, I didn't succeed, but after three years of attempts, back in those days, I finally managed to do this. This is exactly how I felt. So this is the Code Monkey King's reaction to when you when you pass in the perf test. And this is how you feel when you know what you're doing, when you're not doing this for the very first time. So this is how I feel like now. And this is quite pretty exciting, right? So I just really wanted to share this gift with you guys. So just probably doesn't really make much sense to you, but for me personally, this is kind of this inner state uh, is exactly what I feel inside, just right in this particular moment. So, okay, now let's get back to our chess engine development process. So in this video, we're gonna be uh, actually writing the perf test, and before we do this, uh, rem remember the previous video. Uh, I was concerned that probably uh, the double pawn push is not done correctly and that was the only issue basically I needed to fix so uh, and actually you know like uh, I didn't run the perf test before I fixed that so probably I can claim that this is the very first time in my life ever when I did pass the perf test from the first time which seems to be like absolutely impossible so the very first thing to consider I would just like to demonstrate you what the issue is currently available from the previous part that we've done and then we'll fix it and then we'll go for uh, writing our perf test method so let's actually start writing some code now uh, I just want to go to the very uh, scroll down here and I want to use the starting position uh, because it's way more clear shows the, this sort of an issue so if we just say the start position which is the preserved uh, preserved FEN string we have and just save this and I also want to open the terminal in the current working directory and type make in order to compile this and if it compiles I just want to write the binary executable cre created by the compiler called chess hexadecimal 88 so this is the output from from the previous well not not already from from the previous this is already the output from this sort of a uh, yeah from from what we've just done and you see like yeah it, the depth is too much so uh, let's let's get drop let's drop back to the depth number one here is here we have, here we see the issue so uh, you see like it moves uh, one square ahead both times when we need to make the one square ahead move and the two square ahead and the reason for that is just a little typo within the move generator so if we just go back to our generate generate moves function here and go to the generation of the uh, two square ahead pawn move you see like we are passing the two square as the two square well uh, we need to say square minus 32 because we need to jump over this over the square so this is the first place to fix make sure you done this otherwise you you, will, you won't complete the perf test and the second thing to consider we also need to do the same for the black pieces so let me scroll down a bit so here we got the black pieces pawn, uh, pawn uh, piece equals to uh, black pawn and scroll down here and here we need to say square plus 32 so two square is just square plus 16 but we need double pawn push so that's the reason so, so that's the way how to fix it 
and now I just want to try to run this again and to show you so from now on this actually would have been making this double pawn moves which is exactly what we need and the same for the black pieces obviously so we just make this bird driver uh, to run at the depth of two uh, it makes the same for the black pieces so we make sure it kind of works okay so this is quite pretty uh, this was quite pretty simple so uh, usually you know like if you have real really <laughs> tricky bugs in your mood generator it's not that uh, that easily to discover them and that's by the way the exact reason why we need to uh, provide our perf test uh, function so well obviously this perf is literally is, is literally enough this perf driver is literally enough in order to uh, count the number of positions reached but uh, if you have an issue somewhere and say at the same time you have some working mood generator that you can rely on you can just uh, compare not the overall number of positions, but the number of positions uh, within the branches for every single given move. And that's uh, that's the proper way of how to, to, to debug your chess, chess engine, basically. And uh, if you ever go, if you will ever uh, try uh, to write your own chess program, you, uh, you would be able to use, say, this move generator in particular in order to uh, calibrate your own move generator using uh, and your own perfed uh, test uh, based on this one so it's way easier to show rather than to explain so uh, but first I just want to get rid of some lines of code so I don't really want to print the board anymore also here uh, I'm not gonna be interrupting the process of traversing the move tree uh, by this user input stuff and the same is right over in here save so if I just run it again it finishes instantly perfect okay so the next thing to consider so the code for our uh, the code for our perf test would be almost the same like the code for our perf driver so um, one little thing to consider though so uh, I need to define one more variable and I could have defined this variable uh, uh, upwards with it where we have all the definitions but just to make it more just to get a more logical place within the source code I would like to define this right over in here so uh, uh, count count notes uh, aka uh, well, we could have saved these positions, but well, let's just say notes. And I just want to create the variable with the type of long, which is kind of a long integer. And I call this variable notes. And I also want to initialize this to zero instantly, like like this. And here, within the escape condition of our um, perf driver, before we actually return, uh, I just want to say nodes plus plus so uh, or otherwise or other words uh, we want to count current position okay and then we just return after it so uh, this nodes serves uh, as the variable storing the number of position uh, our mode generator reaches uh, our perf test reaches basically okay so I don't really want to be I do much of copy pasting but it seems like uh, I will actually go for this so let me just grab this perf driver entirely I really hope this is gonna work so I just renamed this function from perf driver to perf test like this so here I would also like to say like perf test save we don't need this depth stuff within our perf test uh, instead we just want to print print f let's say something like uh, perf test uh, we can say performance test that's just just to make it clear like what is this would be performance I hope I, I've spelled this performance word correctly it's gonna be a disaster otherwise so performance oh my god is this right well I'm really sorry if I did just 
make made a mistake here. So uh, performance task, a couple of new lines. I want to start a new line before. Uh, I just want to. You just just want to specify the layout of things. You, you know, I guess like, like I really like, love doing this. Uh, uh, okay. Generate so initially create the move list, generate moves, and loop over, over loop over the moves. Make move take back, but with the difference that yeah, we would be calling exactly the perf driver recursively, not. Uh, not this one, but actually, we would be uh, calling recursively this one, and yeah, just hope not to miss anything. Uh, when we uh, end this loop, so the very so print print results and print have uh, let's have. Uh, notes and here I specified lon, not decimal, but l lon uh, string format in here, and I want to do to, to print the number of notes. Okay, and we just now try to say like per test instead of per driver. Well, I really hope this is gonna work. Okay, something has gone horribly wrong. Uh, hold on a sec. Long, oh, maybe long decimal. Uh, did I? Yeah, 400 notes. Yeah, this is it. So, performance test. Yeah, this, intent, this uh, intent, uh, indentation is perfect, but here I want to add a couple more. Okay, and here we would have been printing our moves. So, okay, guys, just hold on a second. I want to check one little thing here, and I'll get back to you just right in the moment. Okay, so the proper place to print uh, the current move we're traversing, and later on we'll add the number of nodes uh, that has been traversed within the current given move, but just not everything at once. Okay, because like uh, I've always been copy pasting this stuff through uh, the range of my engines, uh, never <laughs> never actually been writing this on my own, to be honest. Uh, so just referencing the code I've been written before now. Okay, so print current move, let's say just print current move, and here I can say print f and um, uh, we want to print, yeah, so to print the current move, it actually... Uh, is this current move right? Okay, copy. I guess I guess this should be like print and um, move, and then let's specify the move number, and then the move itself. So like this, followed by the new line. Okay, so so this is the move itself. I'm just wondering, yeah, like I really, uh, so I need to decode this. Do I need to decode this? Yeah, probably. Hold on, guys. Just just want to check up a couple more things. Okay, guys. I just realized that it would be probably a good idea to create a print move function one day, but as far as this video is dedicated to uh, perf test, uh, we can do this straight ahead right over in here. So uh, we need to use our macros to, or otherwise, okay, hold on a sec, I just, I just quickly, uh, I just click, uh, I just quickly make this print move function. It doesn't, it won't take long really, so print move. And I would place this up there to the print stuff. So void print move, and it would take it would be taking the move itself, and we will also be able to replace this or no 
probably oh my god just hold on a sec guys I just just want to think how better it would have been done better no let's drop it because yeah it takes it takes too long so uh just just specify the stuff right over in here uh i want to say so get move source and like this and also i want to reference my square to coordinates array by this stuff okay and copy and the next thing to consider would it be to well I, actually i already have this in my print i should have this within my print uh how this called print move list print move list yeah but it, here it's printed like every next line okay so forget this okay uh uh, get move target here okay yeah don't forget to put a comma as well and also get move piece to uh, actually specify the well here we don't really we won't really be needing this but but yeah just just let's keep this so get move piece and get uh, get move piece from the move yeah but in order to print the move piece uh, we need to reference not the square to coordinates but just let me remember what exactly yeah uh, I'll better reference this print move list stuff so to print a piece promoted pieces yeah I need to reference this promoted pieces okay paste save okay so well let's give it a try excuse me square the coordinates oh what have I done sorry what have I done no not like this uh, not like this I want obviously yeah promoted pieces here sure okay but what the hell is excuse me oh so one two three and one two three so I, I need to add one more I uh, also want to print the move count so to calculate the move count I actually need to say move count plus one because it starts uh, from the from zero and then goes goes further around okay so at least we have well, some expert accepts but it's integer yeah and so here it would have been not string but character like this okay we don't have any uh pump promotions obviously but still just to make it clear so we got this move one two three so all the moves and we have the total number of nodes and also here it would have been nice to provide uh, the number of nodes reached uh, within every single branch here and especially when we would be uh, going for deeper uh, kind of uh, when, we, when we would be going deeper into the move tree so they say like depth three or four or five or even six in this case this numbers uh, would be quite pretty significant so now we need to provide the logic of calculating uh, the number of nodes being produced by every single move uh, in particular so in order to do this first I would like to define the cumulative, cumulative not nodes variable uh, just uh, just before we call this just before we make this recursive uh, call so cumulative I hope I really hope I have uh, spelled this correctly cumulative nodes sorry if not guys I'm really sorry so let's create the long come nodes I know come nodes might sound a little bit funny and weird uh, 
I don't I don't know say how like what are the words it sounds like I guess you guess it on your own so cam notes would it be equal to but I just really like this variable variable name because I took this from the blue fever software's uh, channel uh, his great chess engine in programming chess engine in C series so he did use this cam notes <laughs> variable name and <laughs> I love that <laughs> I fell in love with this variable name from the first site okay so uh, cam notes uh, would it be equal to notes I guess right and also I want to specify the uh, old notes uh, variable here so long old notes old notes well, uh, I probably underscore would make sense so old notes would be equal notes minus cam notes right I was never good at math so we'll see if it works okay and also now we want to specify uh, we want to specify the number of uh, so this uh, kind of long decimal right uh, so how many nodes uh, are available there so I'm just wondering can I, can I put this somewhere here is this still synthetically possible in C? Hope it, hope, hope it is. Okay, and here I just want to specify even like this, I guess. So here I want to specify old notes, right? Old notes save. So I hold my breath, try to run this. What old notes? Oh, obviously, <laughs> no, no semicolon there. Okay, uh, give it the right name to the variable, and give it give a right name for another variable. Okay, and now we have this number of uh, moves uh, being reached within the uh, current given branch for every single move. Okay. Okay, so the very last fancy little feature to add uh, to our proof test would be um, I just want to quickly define a function known as get times get time milliseconds. Uh, I never write this, and uh, I've never written this myself uh, because you know I, I just grabbed this from somewhere I don't remember. Pro probably from the from the same chess programming in C series by Blue Fever Software. Uh, I didn't really get into it, just didn't really try to understand how exactly it works. I just want to provide the, some uh, spaces here and probably just to get the function to uh, so it would fit the overall code style here. Get time milliseconds, so it's literally what it means. So get time in milliseconds. Okay, did I spell this milliseconds correctly? I really hope so. So many words, I have no idea if, whether I spell correctly or not. So, okay, mm, probably it won't run because it needs time module. Uh, yeah, uh, probably I need to include the time module. Include. I'm not sure it's called time, by the way, but let's try it. Uh, yeah, so sorry, guys. Just just, just want to reference how, how this heater is is called in particular. Oh, it is actually uh, named correctly, but uh, on Linux it seems to be located within the sys folder. So this uh, the other reason why you might ignore it doing what I'm doing now is because I'm not sure, exactly sure how this is supposed to be working. Uh, on Windows, it, uh, so I'm, I'm on Linux and on Linux it works perfectly well, but I have no idea whether it's gonna work on Windows or not. So definitely it's possible, but prob maybe some other way. I, I remember I, I did even uh, cross-compile uh, just programs on Linux to make them uh, Windows uh, uh, XA extension executable files. So 
this is definitely possible somehow. Probably even can't believe this. Uh, I don't remember really. Just okay. So the very last thing, uh, right over in here, before uh, in the, within our perf test, before everything else, we want to initialize start time. Uh, so execution start time uh, and integer start time would it be equal to get time in milliseconds save and here mm, let's slightly alter our title here so uh, let's say uh, test result or how many so let's say so this number of nodes reached in and specify the value for uh, get time in milliseconds so the current time minus our start time so that's how we calculate the time taken to perform all this stuff like generating most uh, passing the perf test at, at the current given depth if I did everything correctly this should now print so yeah it's zero because it didn't really take that much time but as far as we're supposed to be uh, increasing the number of nodes to walk through this should get increased as well okay guys so the moment of truth I've been talking about within uh, the beginning of this video well I really hope that the steps I've done before recording this video are reproduced exactly the same way <laughs> actually as I did because otherwise it would be a complete disaster if it doesn't work now while it did work before I did this video but anyway I just want to search for perfect results tests and we have this table for perfect results within the chess program in wiki, wiki which is the great resource for chess engine developers okay so let's start from the initial position so we get one node at the depth there zero we have uh, 20 nodes at the depth of one save so let's run this so 20 nodes reached in uh, in in zero seconds okay so the position that we are testing making tests for so probably uh, it would be nice to add the semicolon after the performance test I really like this little cute layout things can't do anything to it okay so you see like uh, yeah cumulative nodes are equal to one within each move because the depth is equal to one uh, to one as well yeah we got 20 nodes for the depth oh so yeah mm, uh, I just want to I just want to print the depth as well because it's 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 essential so uh, performance test mm, well let's let's make it slightly different so I just want Oh, sorry, not it's not here. So let's say uh, I say the depth, and it would be equal to I think depth. Yeah, this that's the name for the variable, and the new line. And here, yeah, and I won't be using this sentences here. So let's just drop it as. Uh, let's just drop it as only nodes and this would be the last one so print f and uh, so this this uh, milliseconds or let's say time oh yeah we can make it just time and decimal 
double new lines paste and here it just can say like milliseconds like this so let's have a look okay something wrong with my okay forgot to put the semicolon okay oh my god don't don't make too many yeah so i don't need this guy sprightly okay so we got the depth equals to one the number of nodes uh equals to, yes just again switch shift the time slide a little bit so the indentation matches okay and the time is zero milliseconds okay so now let's go further on we go into the depth number two and now we got this uh, overall number of nodes equals to 400 which is correct so now at the depth of three we need to have this eight thousand and nine hundred and two uh positions or nodes being reached so let's have a look if it is and you see like it all yeah the, the number is correct and you see like it's already uh taking the taking some time in order to do, do this sort of a job and by the way uh, there was a time when i remember this uh, this values by heart uh, believe it or not so uh, i didn't even need to check this uh this url in order to <laughs> realize whether my first results are correct or not so at depth number four this 197281 should have appeared so let's go to the depth number four okay already already takes a little bit a little longer so one nine seven two eight one perfect now let's go to the depth number five okay and now it takes more time but still quite pretty pretty nice so four million uh eight six five six oh nine so four million eight six five six oh nine if I run this one, it would be like 99% it would be this this value because obviously when, when you reach uh, the, the right number of uh, nodes within the depth of 5, you usually, so th this usually goes uh, with, with no errors as well. Obviously I will check this and if in some reason there would be uh, some bugs there, I will definitely show you the bugs themselves and how to fix them. But uh, at the moment, I just want to switch my position to this well-known tricky position and try to match this sort of a number. So let's go for it, basically. Uh, I just want to ch change the start position to the tricky position. And let's go from the depth number one. Okay, so we got 48 nodes, which is exactly the exact number we're looking for. Good okay so let's go for depth number two okay 239 and this is the number of nodes 97 uh, uh, 862 uh, is the second number to match 97 6 uh, 862 this one okay and let's go to the depth number four uh, sorry depth number four now it takes time, but still, uh, so we got 4 million and 0, uh, 0.058603 here. So 4 million, 4 million 0.085603. Yeah, obviously, I could, uh, again, like I could have go for, uh, j j just to show you, I could have go to test, the perfect test with the depth number 5, but it takes really, it really takes time to, uh, complete basically and okay probably I just let I just let this perf test to to go here and but, but by the time it's going I just just want to mention one little thing here so uh, you see like at the moment we are calculating uh, the moves at only at the depth depth of five and you know like the modern chess engines are capable of uh, calculating the move within the depth of say up to 12 plies or or half moves uh, within just I don't know maybe a couple of seconds and that's the reason why well, the reason why this is happening is because uh, there is uh, an option known as move running being uh, being embedded into the chess program and that's the exact case where the alpha beta search 
uh, uh, Series 4 basically. So instead of uh, using so called brute force to literally traverse all the moves available within uh, uh, all the moves ge being generated, we can. Uh, uh, okay, we'll, we'll now just uh, ch uh, check this this number as well. Uh, uh, so instead of uh, walking through all the moves available, we would be walking only through those moves that are kind of like potentially uh, potentially good. So there, the, so many moves would be skipped. And there also exist techniques like uh, move ordering in order to increase the performance of the alpha beta algorithm. And one day we'll definitely. Uh, implement that not in this engine because uh, I want to keep it as simple as possible so to, to make it easier for beginners to follow the entire tutorial but obviously we'll, we'll make that uh, move order and stuff that which involves really several techniques several well-known techniques and probably e even more uh, techniques possible okay so uh, let's compare the numbers so we have just reversed uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 193 million positions and even more. Can you imagine 193 million positions? So this is quite a pretty significant number. So 193, 193, uh, 690, 690. So let's compare this number. So we got here 193, 6, Nine zero six nine zero exactly the exact number uh, of positions uh, we we were looking for. And you like guys, just just trust me. Well, when you've been tr when you've been struggling to get this results for three years, I've been struggling for three years to get my very first uh, successful perf result. And when I really did this, I swear it was like in that monkey. <laughs> In that monkey game, let me just try to find this again. So tenor, monkey dance. So this really felt like this really felt like uh, like this basically. So this is absolutely fantastic. But uh, as I as I've been al already mentioning, now uh, as far as I not not doing this for the first time, now it really feels like this. Like everything everything is fine. Everything is going on just like it has to go. So. Uh, this is it from my side for this video and I really think that I deserve uh, to, go, to go and buy some beer for myself because you know like uh, completing the perfect test is always uh, is always a, uh, a holiday so it's, it, that's the reason to celebrate basically and uh, we'll definitely move on and uh, now really interesting things uh, are gonna start happening as far as our mood generator is actually working uh we're, we're already pretty close to make our chess engine actually play chess so this is quite pretty exciting right and this is it guys so uh i really appreciate uh, uh the fact that you're following this series and watching these videos uh i'm really happy to share my chess programming knowledge with you so i uh, wish you all the best uh thanks for watching i wish you like yeah just Take care and see you next video.